So, Al, how much is that up there? Well, oh, my God! Put those down. Come in here. Help yourself to whatever you want. Yeah. I'm going to have another talk to your father. I'm shitting. You're going to pay for everything you take. Hey, how about some football? Go along, Pete. someone here in town? No, not really. Yeah, when you talk to Dad, be sure and tell him that you're selling to minors. You, uh, have an ID I could see? No. You don't look 21 to me. Dog. I mean, shit, you, you just got off the bus or something. I love this song. Now this guy can sing. You know what else he does? He breeds poisonous snakes. Is that living the life or what? Dude, you look like you just got banged by the dick of doom. If you don't like speaking. 
It's an acquired taste. What's your name? How are you, big fella? Thanks for your help. He really likes strangers. He must not be from around here, then. What's that supposed to mean? If you don't like it here, why'd you get off the bus? I guess I came to meet your dog. Yeah? Well, he's not my dog. Come on, Johnson. You waiting on a room? You're lucky I came back to town. This note's three weeks old. Your choice of rooms are all the same. Doesn't matter. This one's right next to the office. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna dress up like my mother and hack you up in the shower. It's a little joke. Did you ever see that movie Psycho? No, I don't get to too many movies. It's uh, eleven dollars off season rates. So are you uh, visiting somebody here, or you just get off the bus at the wrong stop? It's the right stop. $77 a week. You want to just sign the register here?
glad you're still here. I'll see you soon. Christ, you scared the hell out of me. Gotta fix a bell on that door. What can I do for you? I need a good knife like this one. I don't usually get customers in here this time of the year. I don't want to bother to keep the place open. You like handcuffs? Yeah. Yeah, I've been collecting them since I was a teenager. I got the finest collection in the state. Just got a new pair I'm working on in the back. Put them on Gary Gilmore when they shot him. Me and some buddies. We go every year. Oh, yeah? All the same day? All but one. What about you? You do much hunting? Thinking about starting. Be a total of thirty six forty seven. You're not going to get very far. Tennis balls and a buck knife and bug spray. you were talking about? What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you want? What do you want? Listen, take anything you want. Anything you can find, you can have it. What do you want? I want you to remember. Remember what? Sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. No. Wait a minute. It wasn't me. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Listen to me. Listen to me. I didn't do anything. Please. What are you doing? What are you doing with those? Come on. Come on. Listen, it wasn't me. I didn't do what the other guys did. I shot the bus. That's all I did. I didn't know what the other guys were going to do. Please, you got to believe me. What are you doing? Answer me. What is that? That's bug spray. What are you doing? Listen, it wasn't me. Shut up.
Where's the boy? Let's just let him sleep. Zidi, that's not why we came here. You plan on sitting out here all night? He paid for the room, you might as well use it. This town's dead enough in the day. What the hell could you be looking at at night? Gonna ask me in, or are you gonna hit me over the head with that thing? Thought it might be one of your friends again. They aren't my friends. Right, this isn't your dog. Come over here. Come here. That's right. I just thought I'd take care of him until my dad gets back from Chicago. And then what? Johnson goes. My daddy hates dogs. My name's Kate. Kate Garvey. What are you doing here anyway? I came for the ocean air. The nearest ocean is two states away. Somebody lied. Look, I'm just doing this because you helped me out, okay? I'm cooking dinner tonight. I was going to ask you if you wanted to come. Yeah, I'd like to come. I'll get somebody to pick you up around six. Come on, Johnson. Get in the jeep. I'm waiting for somebody. I know. You're waiting for me, numb nuts. Look, this song's almost over. I've got to be doing at least 65 before the next one starts. You like my sister, don't you? Yeah, sure I do. Well, I mean, you like my sister. You want to get close to my sister. Yeah, I like your sister. I'm not sure where you're uh, coming from here, but I'm going to take a shot at it. Okay. Let's talk mano a mano. Now, Kate's cooking dinner. That could mean anything from a slight case of the trots to tomaine. No matter how bad it is, even if it tastes like last week's dog food, no matter how bad it is, you better tell her you love it. 
if you want to stand any chance at all of nailing her. A dress? You're wearing a dress? What, did somebody die? Why don't you sit down? You know, the last time I saw her in a dress... You know what? I never have seen her in a dress. I made chili, if you two want to sit down and eat. Be careful. You don't want to get me chili on your dress. Louie, it's getting cold. You know, I baked the rat once. Stuffed an apple in its mouth and everything. Put on the Metallica, poured the wine. She didn't go for it at all. Well, it was undercooked. Go ahead and start. This is good. What'd you get, Juanita, to fix it up before she left? Juanita? Fourth cook this month. My dad hires them and I blast them away with the power of music. This one lasted for about three days. I think she thought I was in the devil worship or something. Glad you like the chili. It's my mother's recipe. Mom's? Tastes good, doesn't it? So what are we supposed to call you anyway? This is real good chili. It's not much of a name. Louis. But a guy who can work a mop handle like that, he can call himself whatever he wants. Well, I'd love to hang with you guys. I would, but a metal god's job is never done. Louie's into extremely heavy metal. Yeah, I got that impression. You can see why we have a hard time keeping a cook. I got a present for Johnson. Is he around? I don't know. He's not, not my dog. dog. <laughs> right. Well, you better tell him that. He never did tell me what you're really doing here. Well, I was on the bus, and then I looked out the window, and I said, this looks like a friendly town. You don't have to tell me. When you do leave, where will you go? I don't know. I always wanted to go to Montana. You ever been there? No. Why don't you go? I got Louis to take care of. My dad. You know how parents are. Not really. What do you mean? My parents are dead. Sorry. My mom's gone too. How'd she die? She's not dead. I don't know if I can take that. And this guy's gonna go out all night. Yeah, I know what you mean. Maybe I better take you home. Yeah. Who is it? It's me, the manager. Like you stuck your dick in the wrong hole here, Slick. I heard you attacked a couple of fella for no reason. Why would you do a thing like that? Why don't you ask them about it? Why would I want to do that when I'm enjoying our conversation so much? What's this for? Piss. Is. 
bigger pests. Luke? I'm Luke Clanton, sheriff for this entire county. I live right here in Whitebrush. I like it. Nice, quiet little town. No trouble. I was all the way up on the other end of the county line this morning. I get this call about you. I gotta get in my car. I gotta drive all the way back down here in the heat of the day. Now, the air conditioner doesn't work in my car. The damn driver's side window won't roll down. And I really don't like driving in the oh. heat. Luke. Oh. Huh? That's all right. Because it's not going to happen again. You're leaving. And once you're gone, White Rush is going to be a nice, quiet little town once again. Paid for a week. Oh, that's real nice. That ought to just about take care of the goddamn damages. What damages, Luke? It's just a toilet. Oh. How much damage you want? I know you from someplace. Maybe I ought to check you out against my wanteds. I'm not wanted for anything. Yeah, we sure as hell don't want you around here. Do we? Come on, look, he's just a kid. What do you two want? I believe you've met my boys. Dad, it's about Jim Walters. His old lady found him dead in the toilet. And what happened to him? Doctor said he choked on his own puke. I don't see anything funny about that. Seemed to me like you're some kind of bad luck, buddy boy. I'm gonna go across the street and find out how my friend died. And when I come back, I don't expect you to be here. Alice, honey, I'll see you later on. Don't you want to get the hell out of my way? I can't stay. I can't ease the trouble. did this to you, didn't they? I just hope you made them look worse than you do. Louie, he's hurt and you're not helping. Would you go get me a clean towel? But I just want to know what happened. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Louie, just get me the towel. Sorry about him. It's okay, I like him. Let's take the shirt off. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. This is pretty. What does it mean? I don't know. Why do you wear it, then? It belonged to my father. I'm sorry for coming here. 
had no rust to cut. Take your pants off. I just want to wash your things. I get Johnson to keep an eye on you. Johnson. Great. I can't believe the sheriff beat him up like that. Why? I guess you're starting to like him now. Don't you like him? He sure does not how to fight. He knows how to protect himself. Look, all I'm saying is we know nothing about him. I mean, the guy just shows up here. And kept Harlan and Pete from killing Johnson. Well, yeah, maybe they wouldn't have been hassling us to begin with. They hadn't seen you talking to him. That's stupid, Louie. Those guys were always jerks. Look, all I'm saying is we know nothing about him. He doesn't even have a name. Come on, Louie. Besides, what makes you think I like him? Well, for one thing, you took out Mom's cookbooks. That's no big deal. Yeah, well, you said you didn't want to have anything to do with her, right? I used to hate her for leaving us. Sometimes I remember things. Like I remember her sitting right where you are now. Holding you. I remember the way she looked at you. Like the moment she looked away, you might disappear. She loved us, Louie. No! Maybe I ought to wake him up. Maybe you should just leave him alone. This is what heaven is used to keep you looking at me. Fool. But one of damn common ones here. We own this land. Man ought to own land he dies on. sore, but I'm all right. It's a big ranch. You and Louie, you here by yourselves? There's nothing much to do this time of year. My dad gives the hands a month off, and, and I take care of the horses. You been riding long? Since I was little. My dad gave me cutter for my 11th birthday. Do you ride? No, no, I don't know too much about horses. 
Maybe I could take you riding sometime. Yeah, maybe sometime. end of the first lesson heavy metal 101 any questions how do you listen to this shit loud very loud you want to take a piece of this tape you wrap it around itself real tight you can break a man's skull with it I sure know some weird shit yeah it's just something i learned along the way He make you listen to every album ever recorded. We were just sharing information. I'm going into town to pick up some food. I'll be back in a little while. You see Pete and Harlan. Make sure you run him over. You mind if I go with you? What about the sheriff? You look pretty tough. I think you can handle. Hey. Just in case. Just something he picked up along the way. When uh, did your dad do back, Kate? I'm not sure. Next couple days, maybe. Oh. Did you hear about uh, Jim Walters? He's dead. What happened? He choked to death. An accident. A freak of nature, really. You know, he was he was just here the other day talking about how his wife wanted one of those bird feeders, you know, the kind you hang outside. And he wanted to know what to put in it. Jesus, some talk about bird seed just don't seem fitting for a man's last words, does it? Well, I, uh, I guess you won't need me to help you out to the car with the stuff, will you? I guess you won't. So you knew the guy who died? This is the kind of town where everybody knows everybody. My mother used to bring me up here riding. We'd stop. She'd say, take a look around you, honey. Looking at the heart of nowhere. She said this is the kind of country that can wear a man away. The way the wind wears away at a cliff. There's lots of different ways to wear a person down. Sometimes there can be a feeling inside you. Something so strong it's like if they cut you open it'd be sitting there. Like a stone or something. That can wear a person down. It can make it like there's no room to feel anything else. I wonder if that was what she was talking about.
thought you were just going to take a the quick trip into town. Come on, come on. Hurry up and help me load my equipment in the Jeep. Look, I'm sorry to ask for help, but my three roadies are out sick today, all right? Now hurry up and get dressed. You have a heavy night of rocking ahead of you. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, I'm talking about the greatest living demon of the electric guitar. No offense to Stevie Vai. Louis plays with a small band in town. We don't have to go. No, it sounds like it might be fun. Well, sure. This is part of the cure. You're in a bar, you kick back, you drink a brew, your head is blown off your shoulders. You won't believe my band. Oh, it's okay where nothing ever looks out right. Where everybody's lonesome and there's no relief inside. I take my seat, I buy my drink, and then I know only too well that she's both broken hard So, are you a friend of Kate and Louis? Yeah. Hey. Runt looks like a maraschino cherry and a chicken fried steak up there, don't he? And honk it all here. I take my seat, I buy my drink, and then I know all it's a way. This is both broken hard hell. Let him play weeknights for a while. If he gets a little better, I'll give him a weekend. I think he's ready for a weekend. He's not even gonna make it through the end of this week. What's that? My dad gets back from Chicago soon. He finds out about Louie playing here. Probably call the sheriff and have this place closed down. Closed down a nice place like this? It's gonna be I'll just set those glasses in a row. Hey! It's my fault. Hey! Chuck Beeland, the local Bigfoot, crawls down out of the woods about once a month to spread a little warmth and joy around town. Hey, your pitball machine's broken. It's as easy as one, two, three. All it takes is all of me. I said, your pinball machine's broken. It's not broken, truck. You just tilted it. It's goddamn for sure tilted down. At least this time you smashed the machine, not someone's head. All right, uh, hey, Weldon. Let's clean this up. One, two, three. It's gonna be easy. I'm gonna be free.
Hello, baby doll. Man. Oh my god! Let me out of here! Up the goddamn door! God damn it! Holy shit! What the hell are you doing? Hurry! Oh, open the door! Where'd you go? So, couldn't take it, huh? Let me tell you one thing. Eddie Van Halen got his start in a polka band. You didn't answer my question. I couldn't take it. You should have stuck around. After you left, they did a whole set of Willie Nelson songs. Willie Nelson's bullshit. <laughs> she like country music, Tom. Country music's fine. It's Willie Nelson that's bullshit. What do you mean? Willie Nelson never did hard time. Hey, Jack. Sorry, bar's closed. So what? What do you want? We just want to tell you how sorry we are about the other day. See, that's a real nice looking guitar. You see, me and Holland, we still got some real bad feelings about you. See, I can let what you did to me slide, but uh, Pete, he's a little upset about you hitting him in the head with a piece of the toilet. Kind of took it as an insult. So how we're going to resolve this is you're going to fight Pete. I'm not having no trouble in my bar. Relax. Hi, Dad. Luke, tell your boys to take the fight somewhere else. Looks like a good place to have a fight to me. <clears throat> now, it's going to be a fair fight. No toilet tank covers, no nothing. Just one-on-one, -on -one, you and Pete. And if Pete trips or falls or something like that, you understand me? If anything goes wrong, then you get to fight me. I'm not fighting. Why don't you guys give it a rest? They just want to get their asses kicked. It's natural. Then let's get it on. I don't want to fight you. That's my guitar! Asshole! Now you want to fight? Yeah.
you boys have been a big disappointment to me. Alice tells me you've checked out of the motel. That means you're a vagrant. Why don't you save us both a lot of trouble? Put them on. He's staying with us, and he's welcome to stay as long as he likes. Does your dad know about this? He will when he gets back. How do you think he's going to feel about that? How do you think he's going to feel about what Pete did to my brother? Here. There's a fire up at the core. It's trust camp is what done it. Damn thing just went right off the cliff. Seems I was right about you. You are some kind of bad luck. Kate, why don't you do us all a big favor and make sure that your boyfriend gets on that bus out of here tomorrow? fun-filled evening. Now I'm gonna explore the wonders of Crazy Glue. He's gonna be all right. I'll be leaving tomorrow. Not because of what the sheriff said. Cause you guys a lot of trouble. You don't have to leave. And you don't have to spend the night in the garage. We don't lock our doors around here at night. says I want you to stay here and you don't come out unless I come to get you do you understand where's the boy he's asleep what you bring about here no let's let's just let him sleep Lady, that's not why we came here. I believe we've had a terrible accident here. Guess you like it out here. 
No, not really. I used to play in there a lot. Me and Louie played Robin Hood when we were kids. Robin Hood. I like that book. My mom used to read it to me. That and The Hobbit. You know that book, The Hobbit? We got the tape. Your mom must have been a real nice lady. What about you? You get along with your mom? Sometimes. We used to ride together a lot. One night, I guess I was ten. I woke up in the middle of the night. You're like I heard something. And there was my mom, sitting in a chair, watching me sleep. And the next morning, my dad was cooking his breakfast. I still remember the breakfast. It's pancakes and syrup. Anyway, so after we'd finished eating, I said, where was mom? Was she out riding, maybe? He said, nope. She wasn't out riding. She'd gone away in the middle of the night. She wasn't coming back. You know, I have bad dreams, too. Only mine don't make me scream. They just leave me feeling kind of empty. My dad's back. He wants to meet you. dad. Glad to have you with us. I appreciate what you did with Pete and Harlan. Those boys can get a little out of hand being the sheriff's kids. Understand this fight you had had something to do with a dog? Well, might be nice to have a dog around the place. Come on, let's go inside. So, honey, this is what I am. I guess it's not very pleasant dinner table conversation. Talking about men you don't even know dying. But these were friends of mine. Men I hunted with. You ever done much hunting? Just a little. It's fine sport. Sort of puts you one on one with nature. I don't see what's so one on one about it. You've got a gun and the poor thing you're hunting doesn't have anything. I'm afraid Kate saw Bambi at an impressionable age. <laughs> Louie, eat some vegetables, son. You know, these kids are the most important thing in the world to me. I guess I spoil them. Kind of make life too easy for them. Because like I was saying about honey, the way I see it, you're going to eat meat. I don't know where it comes from. It's a question of taking responsibility. Don't you agree? I think we're responsible for what we do, if that's what you mean. <laughs> More or less. Are you sure you've never been in white brush before? It's just that there's something awful familiar about you. Maybe you just got one of those faces. I know I do. When I was younger, people used to tell me I looked just like Dennis Weaver, you know, Marshall McLeod. What about your people? My people? Mm-hmm. 
Your mother and father. They're dead. Well, I'm sorry if it brought up bad memories for you. But the way I figure, man comes home, finds a handsome young kid like you sleeping in his house, his daughter getting all doe-eyed, He's got a right to ask some questions. Did you fuck my daughter? Daddy? Oh, Jesus. Don't bullshit me, boy. Thank you for letting me stay. Father did that. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What do you mean? Where are you going? Can't stay here. Of course you can. I'll talk to my father about it. It'll be all right. I don't want you to talk to him. Why are you being like this? Believe me, Kate. You don't want me to stay here. Yeah? I want my room. I can't stay here. I'm out for a week. I'm not good at this. You saw how I was when Luke was here. I kind of live in this town with him and his boys. Yeah, I get a call from Forrest Garvey. He's even worse than Luke. And I let you stay here. This whole place would probably get burned down. I'm out for a week. And how about I give you back your goddamn money that I don't owe you shit? I don't want the money. You do make Garvey hate you that much. He's a real piece of work, Garvey. Thank God Kate and Louie are more like Amanda. Jesus, what Forrest Garvey did to that poor woman. Who's Amanda? Their mother. Louie and Kate don't know anything about it. The whole town's afraid of Garvey and Luke. Is there anything else I can tell you? Why do you stay here? You know, I... I moved to California once, managed this motel outside of Bakersfield. One night, this trucker comes in. It wasn't all that different. Has he been around? I haven't seen him. You sure about that? I told you if I saw him, I'd call. Good girl. How stupid do you think I am? I'll come over later on in a week and have supper with you. Son of a bitch, Luke. I know who you are, kid. I know what you've done. You better come inside. You got nothing to worry about. 
Those sons of bitches come to mind or I'll lie to them and shoot them. You need a ride or something? No, thank you. Didn't the sheriff tell you to leave? Yeah, he might have mentioned it. That's his car. Yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, that was a nice job you did on those punks. Something people have been wanting to do around here for a long time. So how come nobody did anything? Yeah, you know, daddy being the sheriff and all, you can understand that. Not really. been parking that old raggedy ass camper of his up on the side of that mountain for 10 years. You hear what I'm saying? 10 long years. Now all of a sudden the day after Jim Walters dies the brakes give out. I find that just a little bit too coincidental to swallow. You see what I'm saying Ben? Ben? The emergency brake didn't slip sheriff. I released it. And your buddy Walters didn't choke on any sandwich. What in the hell do you want? I just came to say goodbye. Right where you're at, there, buddy boy. Stop where you're at, son. Damn it, I said stop! I'm placing you under arrest! Damn it, I said stop! I'll shoot you where you stand! That boy is refusing to surrender to an officer of the law!
thought that you might come back. Is this where your parents died? This is where they were murdered. Daddy? Your parents had an accident. Their bus burned. I'd hardly call that murder. Kate told me she'd seen you out here. And I knew I recognized you. You don't forget the face of the man who killed your best friend. What are you talking about? This is a boy who killed my friend Jamie years back. Why don't you tell her why I killed him? Shut up, goddammit. Why don't you tell her what really happened here? Tell her how you made my mother beg. That's enough! Stop! Please, no! Get out of the way, Kate! What are you doing, Daddy? You don't understand anything about this. Just like your damn mother. Time we tell Kate about her mother. I don't know what you mean. I'm talking about Barker Sanitarium. What did you do? I did what I thought was right. Right for who? I did what I had to do. You had your mother put into the sanitarium. Your mom had a choice. <laughs> the sheriff took care of the papers for him. Kate, look, honey. Your mother was sick. She didn't understand. What I did, I did for you and for your brother so we could stay together. Sweetheart. Don't you touch me. Kate. God damn you. Kate. Kate, honey, wait. All right, you son of a bitch. You go on and kill me. That's what this is all about, isn't it? Stop wasting time. Just kill me. Go on, goddammit, kill me. You're already dead. You said you didn't lock the doors. I didn't kill him. We're gonna go try to find our mom. What are you gonna do? I never thought about much past this. Was it worth it? I don't know. You only winged him, you idiot. All right, you take the house, I'll take the bar.
guys just don't listen. your brother and now I'm telling you let it go it was nothing between us are you all right yeah Louis get some peroxide and a bandage that won't be necessary son Son of a bitch. Did you think you were going to ruin my life and just walk away? Louie, take your sister and go inside. Why'd you send Mom away? God damn it, just take your sister and go inside. Get out of the way, Kate. He could have killed you. He didn't. That was his mistake. There's been enough killing. You don't understand. You ruined it. Ruined everything. No, Daddy. You did. We found out my mom's in Bellingham. We're gonna go see her. Well, Bellingham's in the north of the state. Off I-25. Can we give you a ride somewhere?